sent some requests for the blind as I was putting it together. I got the plastic, new plastic on, sealed the gaps, fixed, covered the door on the edges, added another window. Uh, you can't shoot at it, but you can't see at it. Um, trimmed the outside to seal the door up so it can't be knocked in. Uh, reinforced it. Fixed the new windows. Got everything tidied up, stapled on. We're ready for hay. All right, I had several want to know just how I was going to do this. If you look, this stuff is a net in there. This hay or straw is woven in the net. Um, and you just staple the net across the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it over the top. So let me do that right quick and I'll come back. All right, here we go. See, it's just on there. This outer side is this stapled down. So it's a little tension. I ain't stapled this one yet. I run it over once, come back once. And there you go. That's just uh, doubling back. I've got three rolls. I'm gonna have a little bit left of this one with the two extra little bits I'll have and one whole roll, I'll have plenty for the ends too. So I'm going to put the rest of the hay on. Well, here she be. Oh Lord. Um, both windows. Got them done. Got the side done. Hold on. There you go. That's a bang up. No, it's good enough. How about yours? No, ain't none. All right, there's the windows. Yeah, I ain't got the block on that. Don't worry, you just slide it open. Closed, sealed tight. No light poking through nowhere. I got a light in here in case y'all were wondering. Got the window right here that I added. Went ahead and added that because when I was sitting in here, I always wanted to see out this side and I could never see. It's got a film over it. I gotta pull the plastic off that's protecting it, but it's clear as a bell when you get it off. But got the door all fixed. Be right at home. She's sealed tight as a drum. And if you're worried about the breathing thing, Daddy had to I said that that little buddy heater is made to where it's like got a pilot light and it it automatically if it goes out or something, it'll shut off immediately like a indoor gas heater or something for protection but i wouldn't suggest going to sleep in one <laughs> maybe we'll get us some footage using it all right here is the hay that would have had the preservative on it this is going to be an update for it i mean it's been a good while since we bailed this it was bailed at 19 percent uh it probably ranged anywhere from 17 to 20 maybe 21 in a real shady area percent wise but it kind of was most of it i tested was around 19 um and no mold i mean you can see there's no mold it is green and it looks good i mean there you go there's a guinea wasp in it as you can see or that's what we call them yellow walls not red walls um apparently they've got them a nest there's another one in this hay that i just towed it in somehow or another uh they've burrowed down in it but it's so cold they can't hardly move and they're trying to get in the hay to survive so yeah i'm glad it's cold um but that's it it looks good uh as far as keeping the hay it's doing a good job no odors uh at it probably the first four days there was a really strong sensation of just good smelling hay it was that smell that you smell in the spring when hay is first going down the ground and it just has that real good scent to it when you drive by a field of hay that's what it smelled like um after four days you had to bury your nose in it to just pick up a scent uh after a week 
maybe a week and a half, you can't smell anything, or I couldn't. Um, now there, I mean, there you can't even tell there's ever was anything even put on it. Um, it's probably been I don't know how long it's been. It's been ever how long? Probably a month or whatever, close to a month now. Um, since we bailed it and it's held its color, there's no mold. Uh, very very pleased with the results out of it. Um, now I'm using Agco preservative. The applicator I rigged up did work evidently. Uh, that was what I was worried about, not the preservative. Uh, I'm sure somebody's making the preservative for Agco. I'm pretty well certain of that. I mean, they may not be, but I'm almost certain they are. Uh, but that's who I buy, the brand I'm buying because that's what uh, Kane Equipment sells that I deal with. Um, if you're interested in some, give them a call. Uh, it's 770-983-3608. They'll fix you up with it. Um, but I've been very pleased with the Agco brand. I mean, the odor was the thing that everybody kept telling me that it took like three weeks, two to three weeks for the scent to go away. Uh, so you couldn't even tell it had been on it. Um, this, I mean, it was a little over a week and there was no, no trace of it at all to me. Um, and the other thing with this is the, the that I was looking for is the kind that won't hurt the machinery. It won't make your machinery rust. That was the thing I went after when I was looking for a kind to use that I wanted something that was not going to hurt the machinery and that was safe for all animals, which I'm, I'm nearly certain that just about all of it's safe for animals, so that doesn't matter, um, supposedly. But the uh, but uh, it won't hurt your machinery either. That's the hay.